You're watching Inside the Huddle presented by Community Coffee. I'm Emily Dixon and this week we are joined with another debut on Inside the Huddle, quarterback TJ Finley. Yes, now TJ will rewind back a little bit to last season. LSU plays a 10 game all SEC schedule mm -hmm. and you start five of those games including a big win over South Carolina and all as a true freshman. What's it like being the starting quarterback at LSU as a true freshman? It's a dream come true. A lot of guys don't get this opportunity. I just took that opportunity. You know, I just made the best of it. Each start I had, like I said in my previous interviews, I just learned a lot in that five game span. I just took it as a, as a building block to, to use the rest of my career. New offensive coordinator Jake Peets brings a lot of NFL experience, especially coaching quarterbacks in the league like yeah. Cam Newton, who yeah. you have similar size to. So how much have you grown just in the few months that you've been around him so far? Um, I've grown tremendously. I think the, the main thing that he brings to the table for me, uh, like I said, he, he has coached a lot of guys that has the same stature that I have. Um, so the main thing Coach Pete harps and preaches to me every day is clearing my back hip. Um, I, I, I tend to use my arm uh, a lot, you know, and he was telling me that Cam Newton has problems with his shoulder now because of the things he was doing as a, as a, as a young adult in, in college. He's just working on me with the little stuff. And then as far as like the, the knowledge of the game, I know so much more than I knew last year going into spring and, and fall camp and things of that nature. So if I was to get in the starting nod this, uh, this season, I would be well prepared. Well, one of the things you've also talked about this off season is working on being more consistent. Absolutely. So what are some of the areas specifically that you've circled as places that you really want to grow from that year one to year two? Um, I would just say being a leader, making sure the guys know that I'm, I'm doing my part 100 percent day in and day out uh, on the field and off the field. I, I make sure the guys know that if they ever need anything, you know, anybody to talk to or anybody like that, I'm the guy you can come to. When I say consistency, I mean not just on the field. If you're doing your job, it's kind of easy to be consistent on the field, but just making sure the guys know that I'm here for them off the field as well. Well, you say that, and I don't think fans realize how close, especially your quarterback room yeah. is. And I mean, y'all went through some tough times together last year. Yep. All of y'all started games last year. You added yep. a new younger guy to the mix and Garrett Nussmeyer, and yep. every day you're competing. How Absolutely. much does that elevate you all knowing that every day you're going out there because the race is wide open. Absolutely. It, it brings another consistency level to me. It helps me, it helps really everyone know that you can't have a day off because mm -hmm. as soon as you have a day off, the next man is above you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's, it's an ongoing battle with us. But at the end of the day, it's all love. We all cheer for each other. If one of us have a better day than the other one, we're like, bro, you had an amazing day. You know, we're proud of you, things of that nature. But like you said, it's always competition um, and it always will be competition in every room it will, it, uh, you'll be in. But um, like I said, it's all love with all of us. We're all brothers. We're all happy for each other. And it's just, we're just going to compete until they give the job to whoever they give it to. A lot of the players have also talked about Coach Pete's wanting to get the ball to playmakers in space. Absolutely. And when you see this new kind of approach to the offense, which is very reminiscent of the 2019 offense when you're, when you're talking about it, do you sense a new spark? not only with just the quarterback room, but the entire offense when you're out there on the practice field? I do. Uh, I feel like even the offensive line is happy for what we're doing in the backfield. And that's one thing I didn't feel like was happening last year. We weren't on the same page mm -hmm. uh, with everything. But I feel like everybody is buying into the system, uh, which is a key part to have as an offense to be successful. Like you said, we're, we're, we're just spreading everybody around. Everybody is getting equal amount of touches. Everybody has the same opportunities. So it's just, you'll see a lot of receivers in the game. You'll see um, maybe um, we might set the record this year for targets of different receivers. But um, it, it's just very happy to see everyone happy, happy to see uh, everyone enjoying the things that we're implementing right now in our system. And it's just, it's going to be a dream come true come September. Okay, lastly, you've already started half a season as yeah. an LSU quarterback, but it's going to be your first LSU spring game mm -hmm. this upcoming weekend. So yeah. how excited are you to get back in Tiger Stadium, put your game on display, and kind of have that game-like atmosphere? I'm very excited. You know, when I heard Coach O tell the media that the fans were going to be allowed, I was very excited. I know fans haven't been in the building in forever. <laughs> so it's going to be very exciting to see all that, um, all the fans and, and the music and the crowd and, and just things of that nature. Um, like you said, I've already started five games, half a season. A backwards. So it's kind of, yeah, absolutely backwards. But it's just great to get back on the field, get, get your feet in the dirt and, and, and play ball. You know, it's, you never pass up an opportunity to go out and play. So I'm happy for this Saturday and can't wait. Well, I know that everybody is excited 
to get finally a taste of some LSU football this spring. Absolutely. So thank you so much, TJ. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for watching this week's Inside the Huddle presented by Community Coffee, the state coffee of Louisiana and official coffee of the LSU Tigers.